Hi, it's March the 3rd, so there's still just a little bit of light out when I can sneak out the office. So I'll come around here to take a look at the race car, which I uh, put the engine back in on Sunday. This is the 88 I'm talking about. Uh, after I put the engine back in and got everything in place, I decided to do a compression test on it because we've not done that before in this engine. And the first cylinder was great. It was a 12 bar, which is about 180 PSI, which is perfect, what, you, what it should be. And don't forget, this is cold as well because we haven't run the engine. It's just uh, stone cold. Um, so. 180 psi cold, pretty good. The second one though, six bar, which is obviously half that, about 90 psi. Then we had eight bar, and then we had another six bar. So we had one really good cylinder, and then three duds. So I've took the cylinder head off, and uh, I'm pretty sure the actual, um, well, let's have a look. It looks pretty light to my eyes, but actually in this garage, this camera is not very good at all. And the white balance is miles out. That is a really bright green color. It doesn't look it on the camera, but it is. Anyway, um, I took the head off. I'm pretty sure the bottom of the engine's okay because the previous owner did tell me that the car had had a lot of um, work done to it, had new pistons and things like that. And it, it, it actually turns really freely. Well, I was pushing down before on the pistons and it did move around, but um, I'm pretty sure the problem won't be with the pistons and it or anything like that. It will be in the head. And uh, I'd put me money on the fact that it's got a few bent valves in it. So we'll investigate that now. <laughs> and here it is, me green wood cylinder head. I tell you what, it makes a pleasant change not being in the garage because it's nice and warm in here. After spending the garage uh, or the winter in the garage, oof, it feels nice to be in a, a warm room, being able to do something on the car. Anyway, here it is. If you take a look at the head, there's obviously like no real damage. I mean, there's no, there's, it's not like the head gasket was blown or anything like that, and the valves don't physically look like they've got anything wrong with them. So it's not that severe, but I'm pretty sure it's got a bent valve, and there's um, well. The way you'd normally check is with a vacuum machine, a vacuum tester machine. So you'd, you'd, you connect the vacuum up to a, one of these ports, like you stick a vacuum on there and see what the leakage is. And you get like a measurement of how good it is. There's the inlet side. Again, yeah, you stick like a little machine on there and it kind of suck it and it'd see what like the pressure drop is. But I haven't got one of them, obviously. But I, I think I've got another way of doing it. We'll see. Right, so here's the plan. I'm going to spray some WD-40 down each one of these ports so it just like floods the bottom of the valve so obviously if the valve's leaking I mean it's not under any pressure but if the valve's leaking then we should see that W40 appear on like the other side on the, the engine side so I think that's probably long enough we'll have a little look now okay so I've probably got a much better view than you have on camera but to be honest I don't see a single drop there they look pretty good so all those inlet valves look pretty good to me Checking it this way, um, so I don't see any leakage. So let's try the exhaust valves. I had to stop for a brew. Right, where was I? Excuse me. Drop the digesters. Anyway, I'd say that was long enough to, to prove whether anything's leaking out. Now let's have a look. Aha! Well, that one's definitely leaking, and that one's definitely got a leak. It looks like it's crying. Yeah, you can see that on the camera. See, sort of just leaking at the bottom there. And uh, so is this one's probably, I think this one was probably a little bit worse. Yeah, you can see that. It's quite clearly leaking around the base. The others look a little bit wet. Oh, this one, by the way, in the end, this cylinder, um, yeah, it's the only one I shot now, that one. Um, that was the one that had the 12 bar compression, so that was a good cylinder. This one had six bar, and it's clearly leaking from that exhaust valve. Um, and again, this one, this one too, has definitely got a leak. I'm pretty sure as well this one probably leaks, but for some reason it's not happening. Maybe it's the um, inlet on that one. We'll try that one again. But um, that's disappointing because... Oh, God, that's heavy. That could be... Um, that could actually be two things. It could be that we've got a bent valve. Hopefully that's what it is. But it also could be something to do with the valve seat. Uh, if it's been run on the wrong kind of fuel, if it's been run on it unleaded and it needs leaded. Or the valve seat could be damaged as the, the valve's been bent. So there's only one real way to check that and that is to uh, take the valves out, lap, lap them in uh, and see if it leaves a nice even mark all, all the way around the edge of the valve. So I'll take the valves out anyway now we've pretty much proved the leaking. I wanted to buy this thing I had a cable tie around it. It was because it's a Sykes pickup amp one and it, it just pops open when you're trying to compress the valves. So um, years ago, I haven't used it for years and years ago I must have put this cable tie on it because it just pops open. Which isn't very good, so let's try that again with the cable tie on it. There's a new valve. There's the old valve. It's 
hard to see but they're actually a different profile so I'm not sure what's happening there I may have to consult someone who really knows what they're talking about but there's a lot more meat around this area than there is around there I didn't know whether you could uh, reprofile valves or not but this one definitely is a different shape to this one I don't know whether that's legal uh, I could look in the regulations but I think at this point it goes beyond my knowledge but one thing I can do is I can shove that in the um, straight in the cylinder head with, even without lapping, lapping it in because lapping it in is not ideal anyway you're just grinding away a bit of your um, valve seat so I'm going to chuck that one in and I'm going to see if it seals better than this one because it, it's hard to tell without the dial gauge whether it is really bent I don't have the stuff here so I'll just try that see what it's like but just give the uh, area around the valve a little clean up before I chuck it back in there's the valve seat. There's no pitting or anything like that on it. It actually looks quite tidy, so I'll chuck the valve back in now. Um, it feels like a nice fit, that too. I'm not going to lap these in. I don't like lapping valves in, just because of the idea of it grinding away. And I haven't got any lapping base there either. I'll have to go and get it from the other garage. But really, I'll put the spring back on that and see if it seals any better. Right, let's try that again. Better get the right cylinder, haven't I? Been sprayed, it's down the hole, so let's have a look. And this time there are no leaks, so that would sort of prove that it was the valve being bent or, or some dead, but I don't think so. No, it'll be a bent valve that, so that the valve will be bent. I was allowing the um, in, in this case the WD 40 to leak out, so uh, god blammy. Why well, does everything have to be so heavy? You can actually still see the WD in there, it's not gone anywhere. Can you see it in the camera? I think it's just about to see it. You give it a shake. But yeah, um, so that was a bent valve. I might have to consult with somebody as to whether it's uh, legal to have um, a reprofile valve or not, but that's the issue with this head anyway. So I could change them and just put the other ones in. Probably the best thing to do. It's all nice and shiny looking anyway. Anyway, I'll carry on cleaning the head up. Take all the valves, I'll clean the head up and um, we'll see about those valves.